So today guys we look at a brand new weapon to Borderlands 3, it's called the Good Juju, it's a legendary and well, um, Destiny maybe, yep, definitely. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the good juju. To be honest guys, every time I say that it makes me laugh inside. Coming from Destiny 2 to Borderlands also, this is just the best. Okay, so the good juju. This new legendary arrived in game with the takedown at Malawan's Black Site 3 event update. And well, I actually love this thing. So looking at the weapon itself, it's a 3 burst full auto assault rifle. Mine offering cryo damage, which at this point from what I've researched, is the main element this comes with. But well, I could be wrong, actually, I hope I'm wrong. My variant, and these will slightly differ guys, but my version deals 919 damage, with 81% accuracy, 75% handling, 2.5 second reload time and a 15.59 fire rate and a magazine size of 45 which is quite good I've seen them a lot lower than this. With a 113 plus weapon damage with a minus 50% critical hit damage, a plus 19 reload speed with two different sites which you can switch between, one a 2.9 times and the other a 4 times zoom. Now this good juju is a direct reference to the bad juju from Destiny, there is no two which ways about it. The bad juju is a popular exotic weapon from Destiny 1 and 2, so check this out. The red text on this good juju is also a direct reference to bad juju, when I say direct it's also, it's, it's more like an easter egg reference, well kinda. It states, kinda, sorta wants to end all existence. If we check out the bad juju, as you can see on the screen now, a quote by Toland within the description of this exotic states, if you believe your weapon wants to end all existence, then it will. Absolutely brilliant. So what else does this good juju actually do? Is there any more ties with the bad juju? Well, the bad juju is full auto. So is this. The bad juju is automatically reloaded on a kill. Does the good juju? You couldn't hit a cow's arse with As you can see, jaw. yes it does. The bad juju gets more powerful per kill. Does this? Well upon my first testing, there is definitely a damage buff coming from somewhere. But I ain't actually sure upon further testing if it's activated on a kill. The bad juju gives you super energy back on each kill. As far as my testing went, this didn't do anything of that sort. So this does have a few ties of the bad juju, a few of its traits, but not them all. Either way guys, this assault rifle or pulse rifle if you've ever played Destiny is actually a very good weapon indeed. If you guys ever watched my stalk review I posted literally a few days after the bloody harvest dropped, I said the following statement which you can see on screen now. Will it personally be a sniper I use on a regular basis even though I main Zane? No. That doesn't mean it's a bad weapon though whatsoever. My honest opinion is, while it's good for and while it should be used for, it's a great sniper. But it doesn't have the ammo to support, really? Well it's made for, I mean it runs out of ammo way too quick. Yes it freezes shit, but there are many weapons in the game that are more suited for what this weapon is supposed to be. And this weapon, this good juju is the perfect example of what I mean here. The thing is an amazing trial weapon, it has a massive magazine size, with a massive reserve. It automatically reloads on kill, deals great damage and it's called the good juju, I mean what more do you want? So how is this obtained? Well I know for sure it drops from a few different bosses upon researching this weapon, to name a few, the Rampager within the Forgotten Basilica upon Promethea, Grave Ward and also Walton. All reports I've seen of this dropping though are on Mayhem 4, so I'm guessing this is a world boss drop on Mayhem 4. If you guys have had it on any other Mayhem mode, be sure to leave a comment down below so others can see it. Also massive shout out to my pal Trolling Donkey for sending me this good juju for a review. But yeah guys, the good Juju, a new assault rifle to the game, arrived with the takedown at Malawan Black site. Is it seems a world bust drop on Mayhem 4. It offers cryo damage, it's a full auto burst weapon with absolutely amazing cryo efficiency, freezes everything in sight and it's a great great weapon, one I do recommend you trying to get. 
but learn anything more about this weapon I'll be sure to bring you an update video so stay tuned for that but on that note we have come to the end if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one